Hello and welcome back to Shelf Centered. This is Bryce and guess what? It's book haul time again. So just to jump right into it as usual, we're gonna get to our Kindle books, the audio books, and then also the physical books. And guess what? I got me some packages to unbox slash open. So book mail. First things first is the Kindle books that I got. I got Cold from the North by D.W. Ross, as well as The Darkest Dusk. It's, I just hear a lot of good things from this series and they were both for free on Kindle. What's a guy gonna do? I'm definitely gonna get it, there's a reason. I have about 500 Kindle books on my Kindle and have probably read like 50 of them. So <laughs> it's a it's an unending battle that I'm losing and completely <laughs> terribly losing. It is how it is. I accept my fate. You know, it's it's just going to be like this. And you know what? I really prefer this to the alternative problem of not having enough to read. I always have something to read, that's for sure. All right, and then I also got The Copper Assassin by Madeline Rogers. Just look at this cover. Alone the cover looks so cool, it looks awesome. And I mean, what can I say? Of course I'm gonna get that. Look at the cover. I judge books by their cover. The Cardinal Book Lover Sin. <laughs> Man, that sounded worse. All right, then I got The Exile by Ryan Cahill. This is one, I think it was pretty cheap. Uh, I keep gathering this series and buying it even though I have yet to read actually anything, but I have a lot of trust in my booktube friends that say a lot of good things about this series. So I'm trusting you guys, you better be right, uh, but I, I think they are anyway, just from what I can tell. Uh, then I got a review copy of Army of the Cursed by Kareem Solomon, and I apologize if I mispronounce your name, but just lovely, I just, again, hear lots of good things about this book. I was happy to accept uh, an, a review copy. I, I typically am, I always kinda go, look, I can't promise to read everyone's books. You guys know me. I, I can bite off way more than I can chew in any given moment, but I can accept them and at least feature them in a book haul or something like that. So that's what I try to do, to at least do a little bit of my part to promote the hard work of, of writers and whatnot. And I know, uh, and, and I often, honestly, more often than not, I'm actually buying the books just to support people I like. Anyway. That's how it goes. Then on audio, audio book, I got a couple here. We There was the full Assassin trilogy. I think that's what's the, like, anyway, the, the House of Blades, and, and I'll show these up here, but uh, by Will White. They're all available for free right now, free with an Audible membership. So there is there was an easy download. In fact, I already started House of Blades, the number, uh, book number one. And it's excellent. I'm about 60% done and just found out that uh, Boiled Jellyfish is reading the same. And so we are accidentally buddy reading this book. <laughs> but anyway, it's really good. I kind of, I was worried that I might not, that it might, these books that are kind of for free on the, on the Audible ca uh, catalog, are, will often only last so long, so I figured I'd jump on it when I really should be reading Cradle, which I also am dying to read. There's just too many books out there, too much stuff, and I want to read them all. So what can I say? The typical problem of all readers uh, that have succumbed to the addiction, as we have. Uh, then I got, um, I was a winner of On the Winds of Quasars by T.A. Bruno. Again, another one. I think uh, Andrew of Andrew's Wizardly Reads has been promoting this series quite a bit, and that made me definitely want to get involved in that giveaway. And then I got the giveaway. So that's also an audio. I will have to purchase the first book, which I'm looking forward to. So I hear lots of good things about this, uh, this whole trilogy. Then I used a credit to get A Drowned Kingdom by P.L. Stewart. Uh, P.L.'s just been a good friend on Twitter and uh, just we're going to be collaborating here pretty soon on Steve's channel and so I just figured you know what if I'm going to be interacting with uh, this author I should probably read his work at one point so that's what I plan on doing. That's the close of the intangible part of the book haul. Now to the 
tangible uh, portion. So the first thing, it was Father's Day. I used this up because I'm such a good father to uh, indoctrinate my child <laughs> into Brandon Sanderson. And so these are actually, I already have them on Kindle. But uh, I was like, you know what? Because he loves, he'll, he'll just blaze through these. Uh, and he already actually read this. The spine is already cracked, which hurts my heart, but better to have reading than no reading. So I just snagged uh, this whole trilogy so my son could read it. And frankly, they're just good to have. They look good, they look really good. So fun one. Uh, my, I've created an addict in my son. He not only blazed through the Stormlight Archive, what's available, literally everything that's available, uh, but he's now read uh, Steelheart. He's read the full uh, uh, Mistborn Era 1 trilogy. Speaking of kids, uh, I got my kids addicted to One Piece as well. And so these are really hard to find, these first couple of volumes. I've literally looked at all the libraries around. I, I tried, even the bookstores didn't have them, so I went to Amazon and I got kind of a janky one, but it will suffice. Now this is seven, eight, and nine. I'm still waiting on, uh, what is it, four, five, and six. I already do have one, two, and three. So obviously can't touch this one yet. Excited to get into more One Piece. There's just something about this world that's really fun and nutty and I like being able to read along with my kids because they're having such a blast with it too. All right, now we'll get to, this is one that's been on my list for ages. I finally grabbed it. Um, this is graphic novels uh, for adults, I guess. Uh, the Killing Joke, been meaning to read this for a while. Alan Moore, right, and yep. Alan Moore, and look at that, I already noticed, look at that, that says joke in German. Are you kidding me? They're going, they're going for it, that camera is a joke. Anyway, so very excited to read this one and see what all the fuss is about. I do hear lots of good things. I was looking for the long Halloween. Um, anyway, that's next on my list as well. Uh, all right, now it's time to open up some book mail. All right, first book mail, let's see here. All right, let's see here. What do we have? I think I already know. Um, all right, this is, look at that, The Legend of Black Jack. This is one. Uh, it's an, a review copy from the author. Always appreciated. Uh, again, I think Andrew's Wizardly Reads has been promoting this book, so that gets me really excited. Let's see. We've got ourselves a kind note here. Um, I haven't read it yet, so I better look at that. Oh, man, what a nice note. And cool. Look at that cool. I always love a good author signature. That's awesome. Oh man, I, well, I'm very excited. This looks really cool. And again, I keep hearing very good things about this book. And look how cool that cover is. I like it a lot. Doing a lot of good things for me. Very excited. Last but not least, we've got our Amazon package. It's actually from a well-known blogger and Twitter user named David, who goes by David S. Uh, you'll, you're gonna know him before you know me, that's for sure. Uh, but anyway, I purchased this book from him and I'm very excited to see where this goes. I'm attempting to <laughs> open it here and doing a bad job of opening while talking. All right, there we go. Look at that. We've got ourselves, look at this book here. Can you tell what it is yet? Here we go. We're looking at, this is one very excited for, look at that, The Republic of Thieves. I have this on Kindle, but I mean, look at the hard hardcover. And if you look on Amazon, they're way more expensive than what I paid, that's for sure. So. I can't thank David enough. He's just one of those that's just really there for readers, right? And to promote reading, to promote books. And so I'm very excited to get this copy of Republic of Thieves. And 
because I have been really encouraged to read this series, I'm dying to get back into it. Uh, and it may happen soon, but probably maybe next year. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, very excited. Look at that cool cover, hardback. I'm already, you want to see what's inside it? It's a book. Pretty standard. It's, it's no, there's no shard blade in there, guys. Um, but anyway, very cool. Very excited. Thanks again, David. Thanks again to um, all the authors that provided books to me, for all the authors who wrote books for me to buy and be able to read. It just amazes me that people can even do that and do things that I just want to spend so much time doing. So anyway, I cannot thank you enough for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been Shelf Centered. I hope you got a little centered here. So anyway, we'll talk to you later. Bye.